Hey everyone, this is Shag, and I feel like starting an LP of this, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. Or Final Fantasy USA, if you're from Japan and if my memory isn't failing me right now. Um, this is an RPG, as hinted at by the Final Fantasy in the title. And the protagonist is usually named Benjamin, but... That doesn't actually fit. So we're gonna go with something close enough. And start out with an earthquake immediately. What nonsense is going on here? My village is gone! What on earth is going on? This place is gonna sink any second, let's climb up quick. Some people don't like it when people read the dialogue of the NPCs provided on the screen. Press the B button and jump across. Jumping is unusually fun in this game. And that mountain takes an unusually long time to sink. Look over there, that's the Focus Tower, once the heart of the world. An old prophecy says, the vile four will steal the power and divide the world behind four doors. At that time, the night will appear. The prophecy has now come true. Four monsters have locked the doors of the focus tower and escaped with the keys. They're draining the light from the four crystals of the earth and the world is in chaos. The people are in desperate need of help. Frank, only you can save the crystals in the world. Me? Yes, you, Frank. Only you could be the knight spoken of in the prophecy. Suddenly, look out, a monster! Perhaps now the game will give me a moment of free time to speak. This game is not well regarded in the series. Most people don't really like it, from what I understand. And at first, whoop, I was not particularly fond of it either. But then I gave it an honest shot, and despite its simplicity, it's actually pretty fun, I think. There's a bit of a story behind how I got it. See? Oh god. A critical hit. And a miss! I think I'm gonna lose unavoidably on the first fight. That is entirely possible. Yep, there we go. Fortunately, one of the simplicity-giving things in this game is the ability to resume any fight. This game isn't really hard, but it will give you a little bit of cheap, a uh, cheap shot now and then. Especially with ah, there we go. Ha! Right back at ya. Seems always right. At last, I found a true knight. You said uh, you, but you said I, you were sure I was the one. Well, actually, it was more of a guess. And here we have the signature shrug animation of Frank. Forget it, just tell me where I can find the crystals. It's up to you to find them! This place is becoming dangerous. Follow me to the level forest. Pachoo! He'll do that a lot. Both the old man and the shrug are frequent reoccurrences in this game. Also, the world map is not something you control. You are given arrows with which to direct yourself, but we cannot go anywhere but the level forest. So what does this old man have to say in the end? There you are! What do you think I should do first? Save the crystal of Earth! See you! Pachoo! <laughs> yep, nothing we can do about that guy. So anyway, as I was saying, when I was a kid, I, I was big on Super Nintendo RPGs, and I had just recently rented Chrono Trigger and found out how great that game was. The boulder is blocking my way to town, would you shove it aside? Why certainly, Mick old man. If you want to go through this forest, find Kylie in Foresta and show her this. We got Tree Wither. We also got Cure Potions, but we can't do anything else here right now. <coughs> Yes, we can also stab with our sword. But we cannot stab the old man, because it's the same button as the top button. 
And here is for us to... So, having rented Chrono Trigger, I was really looking for somewhere where I could buy it, considering this was the N64 area about... area, I mean era. That was a little bit difficult. So they suggested... I went looking for it, and they suggested Final Fantasy VI. I didn't like that much at first either, but then I liked it a lot afterwards. But one day when I eventually did buy Chrono Trigger, they threw in a copy of this game, Mystic Quest, for free. Presumably because they were not able to sell it. This old lady is apparently really a child. So yeah, they had so many copies of the thing lying around because no one really liked it. And naturally I didn't like it at first either, but many years later, when I went back and tried it again, it's not bad. I'm Kylie. There's a tree blocking the north exit of Level Forest. I can chop down the tree, but the monsters have taken over the forest and I can't get to it. I can help you with that. Come on, let's go! What? Don't you dare take Kylie anywhere dangerous! Listen, Mom. Hey, that tree wither looks awful! How much the trees must be suffering. Okay, you win. I'll just grab my axe and we can go chop them all down. And Kylie has joined us. Temporary party members in this game. Well, I say temporary, but eventually you get a permanent temporary party member, however much sense that makes. Anyway, these temporary party members in this game, they don't level up, but they start at a higher level than you do. And there we found Cure, our first spell. So, we won't have Kylie with us for very long at this point. But you'll notice she's three times our level, and quite a bit more powerful. If we can check the whoop, status screen here. She's got the power. We can also go ahead and customize stuff. The lines down there are... I don't know how they're supposed to make it easier. I guess it's if, if you're a more visual person. But I prefer the numbers, regardless of how they don't look very pretty. It's more exact. Auto or manual here is the control of the secondary party member. You can let them do what they want, or you can control them manually. Naturally, we want fast message speed, and, uh, eh, this window color is fine. For some reason, I keep mixing up my buttons. I blame the Xbox controller. There we go again. And you can save anywhere. Back to the level forest. With Kylie until we are able to get through the tree. You might notice that looks suspiciously similar to stabbing with a sword. And we will eventually be able to do both of those things instead of just one. There is our new spell. But for now, we've just got to attack the enemies. Axes are more powerful, but less accurate than a sword. Something you may have noticed during the Minotaur fight, also. Or, no, it wasn't a Minotaur, it was a Gorgon or something. The, the fight that we've already seen. Enemies change when they get damaged, which is a neat little touch that not many other games have bothered to do, ever. While we're here, we should probably make sure Frank doesn't die. Cure potions go up with you in level, by the way. So they remain useful throughout the entire game. Anyone who plays this game and doesn't jump everywhere... ...is not doing it right. Granted, I guess the sound can get a little annoying. 